you can't you, you can't give up the first five possessions for touchdowns, and we just did not play very well in, in the secondary. Um, it, to be honest with you, with Duluth, you're you're more worried about them leaning on you and pushing you and running downhill. And for the most part, we came in the game and we said, listen, they're going to get in 12 and 11 personnel. They're going to pound the ball, and we got to play really well on the edge with the corners and let them lock up. And it, it, it we just didn't play very well. We didn't make we didn't make the plays that we needed there. Yeah, but this this game has been scheduled since. February of 2020 is basically what it was, and then the pandemic happened and they just pushed that schedule back. So essentially this game has been circled on UMD schedule for the last 500 days. We're telling our kids, listen, guys, they hadn't, we, we knocked them out of the first postseason they haven't been in since 2007. So if you don't think this is, they're coming up here for a fight, you, you, better, you better rethink what you're doing here. This is what I told them, I told them two things. I told them I was proud of the way they came out and played. But we're, we're moving on from moral victories in, in this football program. And I know that's a harsh thing to say, but that it, we've got to get, we, we've got to start uh, learning how to win. And that's, the only way to do that is expect winning. And so I told him, listen, I'm proud of the way you guys came out and fought. You did everything you did. We didn't really have any heads hanging the entire game. They came out and fought. Body language looked good. Yep. But moral victories are, are, are gone in this football program. And we're, we are preparing to go play and go compete in this league. And every week it's going to be, it's going to be a fight. So um, that's really what I told him um, in the locker room tonight. We, we tell recruits this and it's, it's, it's definitely, this is one of the top two conferences in the country. And there is less and less weeks where you're, you're playing an opponent and you're like, okay, you know, this won't be quite the same as Mankato or Duluth, but you start going up and down the schedule and everybody is getting better right now. And some of those teams that have been perennial in the, the bottom part of that league are pushing it. And those teams are, are continually getting better. I was talking about that with a couple of coaches at Duluth today, and it's the same deal. We just feel like everybody in the league is elevating and, and trying to go catch those, those teams at the top.